Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach Jeff Copper, and we're here today with ADHD Coach Caroline McGuire. Caroline, welcome to the show. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Caroline's an expert in working with uh, adolescents, uh, uh, teens, and young adults uh, that have ADHD. And here today, we're here today to kind of talk about, we kind of call it inside-out coaching, and it's basically, in my world, it's really about self-observation, to have an individual begin to witness their own thoughts, or as I say, witness their brain in its own habitat, and watch the patterns, and be able to realize what's going on, and give you an example of that is I'll coach a lot of t people on time management uh, sometimes. And my favorite crowds are the ones that are like always like 10 or 15 minutes late. They're never an hour late. They're rarely on time. And I always say, well, how exactly, what's your recipe? Like, how exactly are you always 15 minutes late? And it kind of takes them back and says, well, if you're, if you're never an hour late or whatever, there's a recipe to that. And then they begin to think. And it's funny, the answers that you'll get like, well, I kind of rationalize to myself one more thing until I need to go. And I go, okay, well, that's great. But how do you, how do you know exactly where that kind of cliff is? And so that's an example of, of, of self-awareness as a, as a, as a, as a coach and working with adults. But Caroline's here to talk, talk about how you do that with kids. And she's got a great story about a child that actually mooned the class. And so can you tell us about, walk us through how you talked to this kid for him to understand and become aware of what, how that all came about? Sure. So sometimes we have kids with ADHD and they have some self-regulation issues and they do impulsive things and we tend to scold them for the behavior without really dissecting what goes on for them with the behavior. So this is one of my classic stories. A uh, young boy comes in my office with his mother. They've just come from the principal. The mother is beyond furious. They happen to have an appointment with me and he walks in and I said, what's going on here? And he, his mother said, you know, he just got in trouble and was in the principal's office for mooning the class <laughs> and so I think okay this is this, this is a unique situation so I asked him what's going on what happened and he said to me I was so bored I felt like the clock would never move move and I just could not stand it anymore and then before I knew it I had just mooned the class because I just I I just did it I couldn't think of what to do and so we broke it down and I asked him you know what went through your head and he just kept talking about the boredom and then finally he started to realize and he said you know what I think I just had to get out of there and what he realized was it would be better to go to the principal than to stay in the boring class not yep. a great choice but what we began to realize was there was a pattern to some of his yep. behaviors which was that when he was bored and what yep. we call agitated boredom where the boredom kind of overcomes yep. your soul yep. and you feel like you're going to jump out of your skin that he actually um, would do these impulsive sort of crazy yep. things. One of the things, I do a lot of talking and presentations on boredom. Uh, matter of fact, we're actually at a CHAD conference and I'm presenting on boredom. And agitated boredom is a kind of boredom and they describe it as a physical discomfort where one is motivated to escape the plight. And your, your description is he was physically uncomfortable because he was yeah. bored and he was so motivated that to escape it, he mooned the crowd. Yeah. But what I like about what you did is, is by walking him through that, he began to witness it and he can feel it in his body, yeah. there's a much greater chance that he's going to be able to pause when he s feels that in the future and say, hey, wait a second, maybe time out, I need to, hey, teacher, send me to the principal's office now before I get in trouble. Um. <laughs> he's never been in that kind of trouble again. <laughs> and he actually did really start to witness when his body was feeling yeah. that way. And, and the thing about, um, the, about coaching that's so interesting is that when you do this with, with kids and people, it really becomes their idea. Yeah. You're, not, you're not a parent telling them what to do and they just don't know what's happening. So they empower it and they actually can activate on their own. And so I think this is a great example of, of, of inside out coaching and it, it, it takes a little bit of, 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 of patience and some skill, but I think the outcomes are a lot better in the long term. It was great. It was wonderful. And you can really look at things and have the kid tell you themselves what's going on and they'll start to witness and realize. So, Caroline, thank you so much for sharing, and thank you for coming on the show. No problem. Thanks for having me. Take care.